even as Optimus is free, Quarry sends a special drone to trap the Dinobots in a stasis field. Now they need rescuing too. Changes form into a Triceratops and stomps on the ground, sending out shockwaves. With electricity. containing real dinosaur DNA. He changes into a Dinobot.
Cadet, welcome to the Griffin Rock Rescue Team. We have a report that Doc Green's daughter and colleague, Frankie, and Professor Baranova are trapped on an island. A man named Colonel Quarry knows where they are, but won't tell us unless Doc Green built him five dinosaur robots. My rescue bots are changing into dinosaur form to go to Quarry's island and rescue Frankie and Professor Baranova. Let's go to the rescue team headquarters right away and see what you can do to help. At the rescue team headquarters, the rescue bots are getting ready for their mission. Heatwave scans a model of a Brachiosaurus containing real dinosaur DNA. He changes into a Dinobot. Chase scans a Stegosaurus and changes form. His new tail is charged with electricity. Boulder changes form into a Triceratops and stomps on the ground, sending out shockwaves. Blade scans a pterodactyl model but can't change into a Dinobot. He is confused. I can't transform! Now, Blades can't even change into his helicopter form. Optimus comforts Blades by saying that in time, he will be able to change forms again. Taking on new forms can affect your transformation abilities. Remain calm, Blade. It's time to help the rescue bots practice their new Dinobot powers. Tap on each flying drone you see. That's how it's done, rescue bots. Now, show me what you can do. Sometimes you'll have to work together to solve the problem. Looks like our new Dinobots are ready for action. Blade sulks on the loading dock. He thinks he ruined the plan because he's supposed to be the fifth Dinobot. It's no good. I'll never transform again. And I've ruined the plan. Cody thinks he can help by taking a look around inside Blade's cabin. Maybe something just came loose. Want me to check under your dash? Just then, Colonel Quarry's drones arrive and pick up the Dinobots. Heatwave tells Blades to hide. Trying to look more Terra, whatever. Quarry's drones transport the Dinobots, Doc Green, and Cody, who is still inside Blades, back to his island. <laughs>
about Frankie and Professor Baranova, but Quarry won't tell him where they are. Where is Professor Baranova, and where is my daughter? Quarry wants to sell the Dinobots, but he insists that Doc Green repair the Pterodactylbot first. You can see them after I test my merchandise, and I advise you to complete the last one pronto. Quarry leaves Doc Green alone to repair blades. Now they can start looking for their friends. Frankie and Professor Baranova could be anywhere. If we had some sort of heat-seeking device, we could find them. Cody suggests they use some of Quarry's hunting goggles to find Frankie and Professor Baranova. Quarry said that you could use any equipment in the hangar. Meanwhile, Quarry tests the working Dinobots by sending an avalanche down at them to show off what they can do. Optimus Prime saves Chase from the rock slide, but he gets buried instead. Optimus is in trouble. How can the Dinobots free him from under the rock pile? Optimus is free. Quarry sends a special drone to trap the Dinobots in a stasis field. Now they need rescuing too. Luckily, Frankie and Professor Baranova trick Quarry's drones and escape by themselves. Tell me, exactly how does your Hollow Watch work? They use Frankie's Hollow Watch to outsmart the drones and start looking for help. We did it! Frankie and Professor Baranova reunite with Doc Green, who was using Quarry's hunting goggles to find them. <laughs> How did you two escape? Because we're awesome. And exponentially awesomer when we work together. Now that everyone is safe, it is time to rescue the Dinobots and capture Colonel Quarry. 
Cody and the others find the Dinobots, but discover that Quarry has trapped them using a large drone. It appears the largest drone has trapped the dinos in some kind of stasis field. Cadet, tap the button rapidly to help Blades fly. Come on! Come on! Fly! Blades swoops down toward the docks and destroys the drone that was holding his teammates captive. to free the Dinobots so they can arrest Colonel Quarry. Now free, the Dinobots quickly arrest Quarry. Now he can't cause any more trouble. Thanks to the cooperation of the rescue team, Frankie and Professor Baranova are safe, and so are the Dinobots. Well done, rescue bots. And thank you, Cadet. The End.
I am Optimus Prime, the leader of the Autobots. I have sent the rescue bots to Earth to work with humans, to learn your ways, and to protect you from danger. I am inviting you to train with the rescue team as a new cadet. Are you ready to join the team? Great. You will join the rescue bots and their human partners, the Burns family, as they serve the people of Griffin Rock. Cody Burns will train you to become a member of Griffin Rock Rescue. Get ready to help Cody and the Burns family work together with the rescue bots to keep the town safe. Welcome to Griffin Rock Rescue. I'm Cody Burns, and I'm a dispatcher. I listen for reports of dangerous situations and alert the rescue team. The team's exciting to have you here. Let's get started. My brother Kate is a firefighter and works with heat waves to put out fires here in Griffin Rock. I'm Heat Wave, and Optimus Prime put me in charge of the rescue bots and our mission. Hey, you squirt. Who's your friend? Oh, you're the new cadet. Nice to meet you. This is my dad, Chief Burns. And that's not a car, that's Chase. <laughs> I'm Chase, and I've memorized all the rules and regulations of Griffin Rock. Hello, son. I see you brought our newest cadet with you. Welcome to the Griffin Rock rescue team. Together, Chase and my dad patrol the streets and protect the people of Griffin Rock. This is Blaze and my older sister, Danny. They patrol the skies over Griffin Rock. I'm Blaze, and I, I forgot what I was going to say. You never know what danger we might face while serving the people of Griffin Rock. Blaze doesn't let his fear of heights stop him from flying to the rescue. My brother Graham is partnered with Boulder. They are experts on building things, or knocking them down. I'm Boulder, and I'm a huge fan of your planet Earth. You better put on some hard hats, because we'll need them soon enough. When we need their help, they clear the way.
My best friend Frankie. She designed Griffin Rock Sky Forest Tower. All the plants and trees in the Sky Forest are good for the environment. I designed the Sky Forest to help keep Griffin Rock's air clean. The forest should have taken 10 years to grow, but the mayor fed it rapid growth formula and it grew overnight. <laughs> We're getting reports of problems with the sky forest. The plants are getting aggressive because of the rapid growth formula. Giant vines have trapped some boys up in a tree. The vines are spreading throughout the city. There are plants for teeth that look hungry. Help! My job is to send a rescue team anywhere people are in trouble. This sounds like a job for Griffin Rock Rescue. We've got to free the people trapped in the sky for it. Then we need to turn off the rapid growth formula. Which rescue bot can help us fly to the top of the sky for it? Yeah, that's right. Rays can fly us right over the sky for its power. So we can... Chase and Heatwave are on the way to rescue the people in trouble. Help them activate their Energon power tools. Power up and energize. Time to rescue some civilians. Okay, Cadet. We've got to help Heatwave get these lab pioneers to safety. How can we get through these vines? Yeah! Thanks to your help, Kate can now get the lab pioneers safely down. Who else is in trouble? <laughs> Mr. Harrison's nature walk is turning into a run for his life! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's put the call out to Boulder! He can help! Okay, Cadet, we've got to help Boulder get Mr. Harrison free! But how are we going to do it? That's the trick! Nice thinking, Cadet! Work. Who else needs help in the sky for it? Even the Venus fly trap has gone crazy. Which tool can help us rescue my classmate Priscilla? Now that's handy to have around. Good thinking, Cadet. Way to go, Cadet! 
Chase's claw proves that plan perfectly. Now let's escort Priscilla out of the sky for it. Thanks to the rescue bus, everyone in the sky forest is now safe. But now the rescue bots have become trapped in the vine. What can we do? This vegetation appears to have entangled us.
to stop these plants, we need to stop their supply of rapid growth formula. The vines are spreading all over town. How do we stop them? When I designed the Sky Forest, I put the growth formula shutoff valve on level 5. That's where we need to go. The vines are blocking the way to the shutoff valve. How can we get past the vines without getting trapped? The plants are spreading all the way to the coast. But look! The plants are recoiling from the ocean. The vines don't like salt water. We can use salt water to repel the plants and get to the shutoff valve. It's time to try out my new invention, the sprinkler suit. It's loaded with salt water to keep plants away. Thirsty? How about a refreshing taste of the ocean? I'll need your help keeping my sprinkler suit running while I turn off the valve. Get ready! and my suit will spray out salt water. Keep tapping until I shut off the valve. Bye. 